Hello folks. Have you ever wondered what if your imagination can be turned into reality? It would be fascinating, right? A 3D printer will make this happen for you. This is Novation Academy and we will give you an overview of this magical machine called 3D printer today. A 3D printer is a computer-aided manufacturing device that creates three-dimensional objects. The 3D printer receives digital data from a computer as input. However, instead of printing the output on paper, a 3D printer builds a three-dimensional model out of a custom material. Now, 3D printers can be used by all and it doesn't need any previous machine operating experience to get you started with this. Using these printers, we are certain that it would take your skills and your design thinking to the next level. Let me now introduce you to the hardware parts of a 3D printer. There is a printer body, heat sink, a heater sensor, a stepper motor, cooling fan, LCD display with smart controller, filament extruder, connection wires, heating bed, and a filament. Are you now ready to take a look at the inbuilt parts of a 3D printer? Well, here it is. This is the power supply switch. This is the rotary button. This rotary button works by clicking on it and it moves clockwise and anti-clockwise both sides. This is the LCD screen of the 3D printer. Let us show you some options that you have. The first is the nozzle. The temperature at this shows 200 degrees Celsius. The next is heating bed. The temperature that you see is 50 degrees Celsius. The third is the X, Y and Z which are the coordinates of the heated nozzle. The next thing is FR which shows the feed rate that is 100%. The next that you see is the percentage of printing finished. The next is printing time. And the last option is the printer status. There is also a toolkit box which contains glue, power cord, filament holder, clips, fuse, spatula or a scraper, tweezer, cutter, set of allen key, set of spanner, SD card, and a nozzle. So how does a 3D printer work? 3D printer works by extruding the molten filament through a nozzle that it moves in. One of the three axes, X, Y or Z. The CAD software is to create a three-dimensional digital file of the object which we want to print. Once we have finished this CAD design, we need to convert it into an appropriate file format that is the STL file format. Then this 3D model is converted into the machine language called G-Code using the slicer software. This G-Code is then uploaded into the SD card to create and print a 3D model. The 3D printer creates a 3D model in just a few hours by turning a three-dimensional CAD drawing in lots of two-dimensional layers. Let's have a look at the process of printing a 3D object. You create any CAD model and save it in the .stl format. Using the slicer software, convert the .stl file into the machine language called G-Code. The final step is to print your model and wait for a few hours to get your final model printed. And it's done! So, are you ready to step into the design world where imagination meets reality? Let's have a look at how to operate the 3D printer machine. Let's begin with the first step. How do you give the power connection to a 3D printer? Open the 3D printer toolbox. Take out the power cord and filament holder. Give power supply to the 3D printer using this power cord and switch on the 3D printer. Let's find out how to place bed before preheating of 3D printer. Put the fevicol on the glass bed. Spread the glue all over the glass through a spatula. Take out the clips from the toolbox. Place the glass over the heated bed of the 3D printer. And finally, clip the bed of the 3D printer. 
Whenever you are using the 3D printer, please note that you need to make sure that the 3D printer should have been preheated at 200 degrees Celsius. And how do you preheat the printer? Simple. Press the rotary button to switch on. Click on the prepare option. Go to the preheat PLA. PLA stands for polylactic acid. Click on preheat PLA. Wait till the nozzle temperature reaches 200 degrees Celsius for PLA. And it's done. How do you insert PLA in 3D printer? Connect the filament holder to 3D printer. Hang the PLA on filament holder. Now press the extruder into downwards direction and pass the PLA from the two holes while pressing the extruder. Now the PLA will pass through the pipe and insert the filament into the nozzle inlet. Push the tube inside the hot end till the end point and press gently till the material starts to come out from the nozzle as shown. So now your 3D printer is ready to print any object. Specific attention, whenever you insert or remove the filament, make sure that the printer is preheated. Okay, how to insert an SD card in the 3D printer? Insert the SD card in the given SD card slot. When you insert this card there, it shows on the LCD screen whether the card has been inserted or not. How do you give it the command to print? SD card is already inserted in your 3D printer. Go to the print from SD card and give the print command. Here I am showing you that I am giving the print command to a twisted heart WAS model for the printing. And now your 3D printer is ready to print this WAS model. Here you can see your 3D printer is printing the first layer of the model. Interesting, right? You can do this too. How to remove parts from the 3D printer? First, remove the bed clips. Then, take out the removable glass. After that, take the spatula from the toolbox. Just with a gentle push of the spatula, try removing the print from under the glass bed. And it should be done. Talking about the uses of the 3D printer, there are many industries which use the printing machines. And which all are there that use the 3D printer? There is the food industry, the bioprinting industry, the medical industry, they print medical devices, the industrial art and jewelry, the automotive industry, computers and robots and other ICT things, and education and research also use 3D printers. Apart from that, the 3D printers help you print 3D selfies and rapid prototyping and manufacturing. Why do we use a 3D printer? For designing a prototype of any model, for printing solid objects, toys or useful things, you could even use to print the parts of a body, and even students in universities and colleges can use these, like chemistry students can print out 3D model of molecules, and medical students can help print out human body parts using this printer. And why should we choose a 3D printer? because of the following reasons. It has a flexible design. There is an ease in developing complex objects. It has light weighted parts. It gives us a fast design and production. It minimizes waste. It is definitely cost effective. And it is very easy to use for anyone, even if you do not have an experience of working with it. We hope you enjoyed understanding what all a 3D printer can help you do Write to us for more information on this. Thank you.